Number 22 then from paper one of the 2015 old hire. What we've got is finding the maximum and minimum values in an interval. Now what happens in an interval is a maximum or minimum value will occur at the end points unless there happens to be a turning point, a stationary value in between. Now, you don't actually need to just demonstrate the nature of the stationary point because its value will speak for itself. If you were looking through a window at some function, those extremes should happen at the end points unless there's a turning point in between. It's almost a guarantee because it could be like a point of inflection. You don't need to determine the nature of it, just find its value and that will speak for itself. Anyway, wasn't going to be going into all of that. So the first thing I'll have to do here is see if there is a stationary point in this interval. So I need to differentiate it, but wait, I can't do that yet because I'll have to get that into a suitable form. There we go. Now I'll differentiate it. Multiply by the power. Take one off the power. And that just goes to a one. I think I'll write out what that actually means. So that negative means it's underneath. So it's underneath cubed, plus 1. So there it is. I'm just going to write it again, because I don't like that negative at the front. 1 minus 8 over x cubed. Now, stationary point. You'll get 1 if that's ever equal to 0. That means if 1 minus 8 over x cubed is ever equal to 0. Solve that equation. Well, don't want a fraction. You can either think switch that over and multiply by x cubed or just get rid of fractions by multiplying everything by x cubed. x cubed minus 8 equals 0. Now it's quite safe in this one because it's an equation just to take the 8 over. x cubed equals 8, so x equals the cube root of 8, which is only 2. So now I've got my three suspects. The maximum and minimum will either be at 1 or 4 or 2. So it's just a case of try them all. What's the value at 1? Put it into this. 4 over 1 squared plus 1. So that'll be 4 plus 1, which is 5, right? So far, that could be a maximum, it could be a minimum. What happens at 4? That'll be 4 over the 4 squared plus 4. Well, 4 over 4 squared is a quarter, so that's 4 and a quarter. Or if you want, 4.25. Well, that could be the biggest. That could be the smallest. Only one more thing to test. What happens at 2? That'll be 4 over 2 squared plus 2. 4 over 4 is 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, you need these three values. They are the only ones that matter. Not whether that's a maximum or a minimum. Because it just says, in this interval, what's the biggest answer and what's the smallest answer? So now I can see... The maximum value is 5, and that was when x is 1, and the minimum value is 3, when x equals 2. That's all that you need to do. Don't need any nature tables.